Let us begin. Number 881. 881. Eight eighty one. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Come, Christians, follow where our Savior trod, our King victorious. Christ, the Son of God, lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Led on their way by this triumphant sign, the hosts of God in conquering ranks combine. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. 
Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempests may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you, as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ, and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. The gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give, keys, I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we uh, celebrate the chair of St. Peter, um, and as Catholics, we understand this in a special way. Of course, in the early church, um, you know, um, the way historians best understand it is that there really wasn't that much central authority, but it was in different re five different regions, main regions of Christianity. Um, 
Alexandria, Egypt, Jerusalem. I always have a hard time remembering. Alexandria, Egypt, Jerusalem, Antioch, um, Constantinople, and Rome. There you go, five. So five, five main regions, and each of those areas, places, had a patriarch, um, or uh, a pope, so to speak, um, and uh, and you know the best way for us to understand it is would be our like our relationship with the our Orthodox brothers and sisters. So they have the you know the Ukrainian Orthodox, Russian Orthodox. So actually, we don't like each other that much right now, um, or um, you know Greek Orthodox. Um, you know the different areas of. Um, uh, and, and central places of authority. Um, but of course, as Catholics, we say there is a special place in Rome um, for, and our Pope has a special authority, but won't, won't get in, go into that. Um, so um, Bishop, um, Bishop uh, Barron this morning, when he was talking in his little homily snippet, he talked about how you know, for for us to understand the the power that Jesus gave to Peter, um, the power of leadership, uh, that we understand it strictly in the sense of leading those to Christ. Um, that it would not be seen really from any other perspective. That that Peter definitely was a fallible man, um, which is revealed in the Gospels uh, as well as. In Acts of the Apostles um, and, and the letters of Peter, or excuse me, Paul. Um, so Peter and all his successors were fallible, fallible men, some much more fallible than others. Um, nonetheless, the church has this responsibility, and we see this power of leadership as a great responsibility responsibility to lead to Christ, to bind and to loose sins. So as we pray today, we pray not only for our Pope and, th and think about the authority, the, the, the great authority he has to lead us to Christ, but also um, all the other um, leaders in our Christian world, all the patriarchs. Um, especially we pray the, uh, the patriarch, Russian patriarch of, of, um, of Moscow as well as the patriarch of um, the Ukraine, that um, we pray for them during this very trying and difficult time. We now stand, we offer our prayers. We pray for our Pope Francis, our Bishop Oscar. We pray for all patriarchs, all those who exercise uh, apostolic ministry. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all leaders of nations. They work to bring about true peace and justice in our world. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the people of Ukraine and Russia. We pray for peace. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who continue to care for the sick. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, we offer you our prayers this morning. We ask you to inspire the, the leaders that they would lead us to you. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work human hands, to become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Intention for this morning's Mass is for Rosemary Kempen and the intentions of Ron Kempen. 
pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray, the prayers and offerings of your church, that with St. Peter as her shepherd, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without it we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy heart, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sahim, the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sahim, the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession who, who have been pleased, pleased you throughout the ages, so we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will then reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to the sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Peter says to Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus replied, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Let us pray. O God, who at our celebration of the feast day of blessed Apostle Peter, have nourished us by communion in the body and blood of Christ, grant, we pray, that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace through Christ our Lord.
The Lord be with you. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the Holy Apostle Peter. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you, under their protection, witnesses to the truth before all, so that through the intercession of the apostles you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Close with 611, 611. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Hallelujah, hallelujah.